So I found a new toy for my kitty kitties who happen to love catnip. And uh, I found this at one of our local pet stores. So I thought it was pretty cool. It's got like a little soft dangly thing. It's got the nips. Um, my understanding is that I can unscrew this and then you put it down and it wobbles. So it's entertaining and the cats get a little high. So I'm gonna pause for a minute, open this bad boy up and then I will show you what they think of it. I need to do something with their cat room <laughs> because I want to make it again more stimulating for them. Um, you know, just to keep them busy, like mental, you know, just like they, I mean, I hate to compare it like this, like a zoo animal, I guess. Um, neither of my guys like the car, <laughs> so they're not really car cats. I can't really take them somewhere per se, especially this one. It just stresses him out. <clears throat> so I try to keep their world as interesting as possible. So I have all the windows open right now. Um, I sometimes put stuff out to get birds in the backyard and I'm always looking for toys that they find stimulating. You can see with that one. Um, I don't know if I posted a video for that one yet. I will do it. But they've already been playing with that. I've been leaving it out here because they like to play with it. Um, they also have their tube over here. So I just, oh, goodness. Just picked it up and chucked it. <laughs> yeah, it's all slobbery. Um, but I like to look for ways to keep them like mentally healthy too. Like everything, I think I may need to get two of these because these jerks are bad at sharing, especially Colson. Actually, Link's pretty good about it. But Colson's a terrible sharer. Uh, if I remember right, this thing cost me $8.99 and it came with all the catnip. So it seems worth it to me. Oh, you got some out? Good for you, but I see that I like to eat it. And then the Link will run around like a nut job and then take a nap. Colson will probably be a little spicy than taken out. Let's see if I can back up and get both of them back in the frame. Okay, is that a fun toy? Do we approve? Colson approves. Colson's so dramatic, he's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna cut Link's head off there. I think Colson's been feeling really good lately. Like he's been on a new diet for almost a year now. Um, and that's helped him a lot. <clears throat> I'm always looking at ways to like, you know, he's 10. So he's got quite a bit of life left in him, but I still, you know, he, I acknowledge that he's a little bit on the older side. So it's nice to see him perky. Sorry, Link. Colson's more interesting right now. <laughs> I also look for toys that I like to play with them. I do have like fishing, the catfisher things and stuff that I do play with them. Um, but I work, you know, I'm gone nine hours a day and Max goes to daycare, goes to his Grammy and grandpa's, but the kitties are here by themselves. So I do, <laughs> <clears throat> I do like to find things that are cat safe, like they're not going to hurt themselves with that they can entertain themselves with. I usually leave uh, the back window not open because I don't want them to like knock the screen out or something. Colson's a pretty big guy. Colson, share nice. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-uh. Kitty, kitty. Colson. Come here. Sir. Excuse you. Be nice to your brother. Link's going to go chill in his box in the sunshine with the open window where he can hear the burbs. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'll leave like my back window open where they can see in the backyard and watch birds and whatnot because I want them to have something to look at. I'll usually leave cat TV on too. <clears throat> Max has a bone over there. Hi, Maxie. He's fine. He's getting the marrow out and it's too big for him to swallow, even though that looked like not great. Um, Max is chewing on <laughs> a raw bone which is actually really good for their teeth by the way if you go like do a quick google search um <laughs> my nutritionist also suggested it it helps keep their teeth clean the marrow is really good for them colson you're hilarious so max gets uh, raw bones about, eh, at least once a week it's muddy outside so 
He's been out a few times and we'll probably go for a W later, but right now he needed something to do. And it makes him happy and it's good for him. Link, are you thinking of getting back in there? See if Colson will share because he's a butt. Oh my goodness. Good boy, Colson. I think this toy's a winner, guys. Link will probably wait till Colson gets bored of it. I'm not going to let him have it too, too long because he doesn't need to have, like, he'll try and get all the nip out. This guy's a little bit of an addict. As you probably saw when he was screaming at me to give it to him. That face, though. We'll see how it holds up, that dangly bit. But regardless, he seems to be having fun. I'll have to sweep again, but whatever. I may, do, I may have to go get another one tomorrow. That way they, because Colson doesn't share. I should know better by now. I should know better just to buy two of everything. Um, Because Colson's, I don't know. He was my only cat. I mean, we had other cats in the house that weren't my cat, but he was my only cat. Hi, how are you? Link, you look very luxurious. You look comfy. Um... Yeah, Link was, or Colson was my only cat until we got Link about two and a half years ago. I think that did something to his development. Because <laughs> he's a bit spoiled. Although I usually bought, when I buy stuff for the animals, I would usually buy something for every animal in the house. Like, um, currently Max is my only dog, but when I buy something, I usually buy something for my parents' dogs too. Um, and they do the same because they're together a lot. So... We all kind of spoil our kids. <laughs> Colson, I'm so glad you like it. Well worth the money then, buddy. Linky, you look so cute. You look like you might have a little eye goopy I need to wipe out. They're coming up on bath day anyway. They both need a bath. Yes, you, sir. Colson especially. He's long-haired, so he, he's basically like a Swiffer. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Colson, at least give us your cute end. Maybe I'll see if mom and dad's cat would want one of these. Hi, baby. Side note, one of my absolute favorite things about Link is that he's a talker. Like, I think that's so precious. Colson, is not, Colson usually talks when he wants to complain about something. Link just chats and goes about the house just chatting with everybody. <laughs> You're so cute. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I was about to stop recording because I was like, oh, they're getting a little boring. No, that's precious. Link, you're so cute. <clears throat> Aww. Link, that was adorable. Oh, see, he likes to sit up. I, I have two of those stools. See, because I was smart enough to buy two. I have two stools so the cats can each have one at a window in my dining area um, and they don't have to share because the stools aren't that big. Um, but it, not getting great because the sunshine, not a great photo of Link there, but it makes them happy. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, Colson's definitely had higher energy lately, like the last month or two, I want to say, which is good. I'm doing something right. Having Link helps too. Link helps keep him on his toes. But it's nice to see him playing because he doesn't always. Hello, sir. Especially when left to his own devices, he is often just lazy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here because I don't want to give him too much more catnip. Because my understanding is that it's not healthy for them to have too much. Um, so I like to kind of limit those dosages, you know. 
So, Kosen, say bye bye. Kosen, Kosen. Can you give everybody a have a good day boop? Or are you gonna bite me? Boop. Oh, good boy. Linky, Linky. Say bye, everybody.